this is a quick video on nginx reverse proxy manager with ssl we'll install the proxy manager a database and duck dns into our docker environment we'll also install portainer for docker management and finally nextcloud as the test web app behind the proxy it's all pretty straightforward so let's get to it let's create a path for our docker volumes so putty into the server You can see here we are currently in our home directory. So I'm just going to make a folder called Docker. And now I'm going to change directory to that folder. And then type in pwd to get the current path. And now copy the config from the description into Notepad. And we'll use the replace feature to replace a few settings in our Docker config. First, replace db pass for whatever you want the database password to be. So it's going to hit Control H for replace and then find what is going to be db pass and then type in for replace with with whatever you want the password to be and then hit replace all now we need to do, do another replace with and what we're going to find is the word path capital and we're replacing this with the path from our putty session Replace all again. And now let's head over to DuckDNS to get our subdomain and token. I don't currently have any subdomain, so I'll go ahead and create one now. And now I'll copy this subdomain and go back over to our config. We're replacing find what, we're gonna find SD for subdomain and replace replace with and enter your subdomain, replace all. And then the, the last thing we need is the token. So back over to DuckDNS, grab your token and we're gonna find what is TK and replace with is the token. Now go ahead and grab the entire config and paste that into your putty session. Now while that's downloading, help me out by subscribing to my channel if you find this video useful in any way. After everything is installed, let's browse over to Portainer to confirm all of the containers are up. We need to run through the initial config of Portainer. Select Docker and then connect. Real quick, we're gonna need to set our endpoint IP address. Now let's head over to home with our local group here, containers, and we can see all of our containers are up and running. Let's browse over to the proxy manager's admin port now, port 81. The default username and password is just admin at example. Um, and the password is change me. And then you will be prompted to change this on the initial login. First, let's head over to SSL certificate and add the certificate. We just need to enter our DuckDNS domain in here and add it and then check that I agree to the terms of service for let's encrypt and then hit save. Now let's head over to hosts and proxy hosts and we're gonna add a proxy host. Domain again will be just our DuckDNS domain. We're forwarding this over to Nextcloud the name of the container, which is running on port 80. We can enable these options. Run over to the SSL tab, and we can select our Let's Encrypt SSL certificate from the dropdown, force SSL and HTTP to support, and then click Save. 
The last thing we must do is for port 80 and 443 in our router to the proxy manager container. So I use an ASUS router here. So what we need to do is go over to the WAN settings and then virtual servers and port forwarding. And then I just need to add a profile for port Call this reverse proxy. And we need ports 80 and 443. And we just need to route this over to our container. And then enable port forwarding. Now back over to our proxy manager. Once we click on this link, it should bring us to Nextcloud. Let's create one for Portainer real quick. So back over to the proxy manager. So go to add proxy hosts. Domain once again will be the same. This time let's give it a subdomain. So add portainer dot SSRP test. This one's gonna route over to 1000 on our IP address. Portainer is not part of the proxies network that way. So this is that's why we're having to use the IP address here instead of being able to use the container name. Enable all of the options here and then hit save. And now this Portainer link should take us to Portainer. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.